This is Tomo News for Thursday, September 21st. Google's taking over. After tons of rumors, leaked memos, and article after article of intense speculation, the news is out. Google is buying HTC. At least part of it. The Taiwanese smartphone maker suspended trading of its shares on the Taiwan Stock Exchange Thursday, pending a major announcement. That announcement involves Google forking over $1.1 billion for part of HTC's mobile division. The deal includes a non-exclusive license for HTC IP and a chunk of the R&D team that's been working on Google's Pixel phone. About half of HTC's R&D people will soon be Googlers. The other half will stay on at HTC to work on their next flagship phone. Guess the original smartphone maker doesn't want out of the game just yet, despite plummeting from the top spot in 2010 to this year's pitiful 0.6% global market share. HTC did bounce back with the Vive, largely considered the best virtual reality headset on the market. The company was also responsible for the ravely reviewed Pixel and Pixel XL phones in 2016, as well as the Pixel 2, which will be unveiled in October. Despite its lack of home runs, HTC does have a reputation for producing excellent hardware. Google is hoping to get the hardware-software synergy that's been the iPhone's secret sauce. With the deal expected to be done by early 2018, here's hoping the tide will soon turn for HTC. Spirit Airlines plane spews parts after Detroit takeoff. The FAA is looking into why a Spirit Airlines plane was spewing parts after a Detroit airport takeoff on Monday night. The Spirit flight from D-Town to Hotlanta was forced to return to Detroit Metro Airport after experiencing engine failure. The plane was able to land safely without incident, but unfortunately dumped a bunch of engine pieces into the yards of Detroit residents. The FAA sent investigators to look into what went wrong and to examine the recovered engine parts. The investigation should be concluded in the coming weeks. According to one passenger on the flight, the plane was at about 5,000 feet when there was a large bang that caused the aircraft to shake and shudder. The passenger said the right engine was on fire, sparking, and losing pieces. And here we thought it was just Spirit trying to save money by getting rid of plane engines. Volcano Rising Scientists have located the magma source of an Italian supervolcano that's considered one of the most dangerous in the world. Campi Flegre is a volcanic caldera to the west of Naples, which last erupted in 1538, but was responsible for a series of small earthquakes in the 1980s. Researchers who have long puzzled about where the caldera's magma is coming from have now pinpointed the location of a hot zone about four kilometers under the nearby city of Pozzoli. From 1982 and 1984, rising gas and magma caused the ground in the crater to swell, but was prevented from rising to the surface by a deep rock formation. The magma instead spread out laterally, causing minor earthquakes. The caldera has grown hotter since, and with pressure building, scientists fear it could soon erupt and put the entire region at risk. Volcanologists cannot say for sure what the scale of any future eruption could be, but are closely monitoring Campi Flegri.